Well, I'm coming to you with the latest sad news from Minister Agnes Nandutu's camp. Yes, stand by for the latest stories making headlines right now on The Buzz UG. How are you doing? Thank you so much for subscribing to The Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also do tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, State Minister for Karamoja Affairs and former journalist Agnes Nandutu has been admitted in a yet-to-be-known hospital. According to the information that is on ground, uh, Minister Agnes Nandutu was in a bathroom yesterday and she slid accidentally and fell down. And then she was rushed to the hospital where she's receiving medication right now. She actually needs serious prayers because, you know, bathroom accidents are very dangerous and by the way, they have claimed very many Ugandans. Uh, you remember last year we were told that General Paul Lokech had the same kind of accident which resulted into a blood clot and later we lost him. And not only him, by the way, many Ugandans have died in the same process. So really, let's pray for Minister Agnes Nandutu so that she gets back to her feet very soon. Otherwise, right here on the Buzz UG, I wish her a very quick recovery. And in case of any developments about this story, I'll definitely keep you posted. Well, in other news, uh, there is this story that is trending so big time. Now, this gentleman is called Agri Odiambo Acheng, and uh, he was arrested in 2014 after stealing a BMW of the Chief Inspector of Police in Kenya, that is Mr. David Machui. Now, the interesting part of this story is that on 13th this very month, a uh, court in Kenya sentenced this guy to death. And this story has caught fire almost everywhere on this African continent. I mean, people are questioning that. How do you kill someone because they stole a car? Just a car. You have no right to kill. you rather send that person to prison for the rest time of their life other than killing them. You have no right to kill. I don't know what you make of this story, but it's a big discussion trending online. Other people are supporting the killing, others are not. But personally, I don't support this. I don't support the killing. I say no to killing. you rather send the guy to prison until he dies, but not killing him. Well, in other news, opposition in Omoro district has accused the RDC of campaigning for the NRM candidate that is Jacob Olanya's son, Andrew Ojok. Uh, we all know RDCs are not supposed to be partisan. They are supposed to provide services to everyone, regardless of their political affiliations. But the RDC in Omoro district is busy campaigning for the NRM candidate, which is not right. Recently, that he has updated also his profile, uh, campaigning for an NRM candidate. I think that is not right because uh, RDCs are public servants and they are not supposed to be partitioned. We see that this election may not be free and fair because uh, an RDC is the head of security and we feel that we may not, as other candidates, be given the opportunity to campaign in a free way for the opposition political parties, more especially for our candidate coming from FDC. They know his capacity, they know his popularity, and they know uh, the popularity of the party FDC in Omoro County. RDCs do not go through the rigorous process, okay, undertaken to recruit a civil servant. They are political leaders, and most of them are, for a lack of a better word, most of them are political failures. So they have some DNA of politics in their blood. Well, there you go. Those are some of the opposition members in Omoro district complaining about the RDC that side. Well, in other news, Dennis Iguma, Uganda Cranes and KCCA player, was involved in a terrible accident today morning on his way to work. According to the statement released by his club, KCCA, they said he was evacuated from the scene and he's currently being stabilized in the hospital. 
Well, this is not good news. Yes, this is not good news. And right here on the Buzz UG, I wish him a very quick recovery. But guys, I think we need to be very careful because these days accidents are getting very serious. I don't know what is the problem, but I feel like accidents are really getting serious. So I think we need to be very careful, especially when we are on the road. Yeah. Anyway, that is the latest news I have on the Buzz UG. And uh, of course, in case of any other developments, I'll keep you posted. What you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. We are called the Buzz UG. You got the buzz. You got everything. Thank you.